What's going on everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday evening and I was about to turn in a little bit early and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, what I've been doing as far as meal plans as well as the supplements that I'm taking right now and I thought I'd just make this video here just to show you guys uh, how I pretty much do things so let's just go ahead and get started I'm gonna make this really quick alright so the first thing we're gonna start is with the meals itself here uh, you know I prepare all of these usually on a Saturday or Sunday uh, the time that it takes me to prepare meals is about an hour. Uh, I create uh, on basis about a total of 12 meals. Uh, today, uh, this week, however, I made five. Uh, I actually made one extra one here, uh, which consists of uh, five uh, breakfasts, uh, four lunches, and four dinners. And the reason being is because uh you know that just the maximum amount of time that you can actually uh, make a meal without having some spoilage issues in my opinion is about four to five days so i try to round out like that uh the other meals i actually keep frozen which is usually something like ahi tuna or something more of a light fare basis so let's go ahead and get this opened up here all right so to begin i have breakfast uh this is about six egg whites and some asparagus and i you know when it comes to breakfast you know i have to get something in but i just can't eat as much as some people there uh so you know usually i just uh make the egg whites itself there uh, i know they look a little unusual and circular uh but i'm very anal about uh, measuring things out so I actually use uh, some special makers for the eggs and I just throw them in the microwave each uh, which takes me about two minutes and they come out in the cylindrical form now I never put any seasoning on it there uh, the reason being is because I like to use uh, Topico salsa picante uh, with my eggs uh, the asparagus it's roasted uh, you know, sprinkle it with a little light olive oil to it, uh, and then I add simple salt and pepper, nothing fancy or anything like that, but that is breakfast, you know, pretty basic. Uh, some people eat larger breakfasts, but me, you know, I just simply can't, uh, eat a large breakfast, but I still have to get something in after I do, uh, any type of cardio work. All right. Next we have lunch, and the thing about it is, is I'll actually interchange it with uh, either with the next meal that I'm going to show you. Uh, this here is uh, catfish, actually. Uh, you know, I actually uh, just actually have it grilled, and there's some spinach right under it. Uh, like I said, basic ketogenic diet. Uh, you know, I use salt and pepper and some Creo sauce, uh, uh, Creo, uh, let me show you where that is at, uh, some of this, uh, salt-free Creo seasoning, and that's excellent for any type of fish, and, you know, this week it's catfish, I will exchange it out sometimes with ahi tuna, you know, I try to you know, eat plenty of seafood because it has a lot of omega-3s in it. This catfish really doesn't have that much. So, uh, even with that, I still take supplementation with the catfish. Now, this here, uh, these look like burger patties, but in fact they're not. These are turkey patties. Uh, they're already chopped up and pre-seasoned with onions and garlic. Uh, you can get these at Sam's Club. I usually have two of these, which is about 45 uh, grams of protein, and I have some broccoli along with it. Like I said, uh, I know some of my dieting looks kind of boring, uh, but it just works for me. It's just what I like to eat, and I I don't really deviate from the pattern itself here. Uh, it's low cost. It's very affordable. And like I said, it, it'll get you cut up there pretty quickly there. Uh, but of course, my whole goal is just ultimately health. 
you know, I'm dieting down for a show. If I don't make it for this show here, you know, with the with the ketogenic diet, you know, I'll be right there in no time uh, in terms of, you know, getting down the weight there. Because at my age and my 40s and everything, you know, you simply just have to eat a little bit healthier. Uh, so this is pretty much what I do in terms of diet food. I mean, like I said, uh, some people have these cooking recipes, but I'm not fucking Martha Stewart or Julia Childs or anything. Uh, I just do what I have to do, plain and simple. Uh, you know, there's not really much in measurements here because, again, this is a ketogenic diet. So I don't I don't worry too much about measurements. You can simply read the label and see how much protein this has. Like the catfish, for example, that's about 30 grams. This here is 45 grams. This one here has very minimum, uh, you know, the amount of egg whites itself. It's, I think it's like 25 grams. Uh, subsequently, these are just the three meals. I will have, uh, I usually have two snacks here. Uh, usually either a protein shake of castine or, uh, or some other products here, which, you know, gets my daily protein intake. Uh, usually... I'm at around 300 grams of protein a day, uh, you know, a moderate amount of fat, you know, and of course, no carbohydrates here, except for the carbohydrates from the vegetables, which is a very minimum amount. So these are all my meals. So let's go to supplements. All right, guys, we're going to go on to supplements here. Now, whenever I wake up in the morning, I will always have a little bit of uh, good old Advocare Spark. You know, it has about 200 milligrams of caffeine in it. They're very minimum, or maybe I got that wrong there as far as caffeine is concerned. Like I said, it's pretty late right now. Oh, 120 milligrams of uh, caffeine there. So, uh, you know, this is my go-to for any type of, uh, you know, energy or so forth. I take a scoop of this uh, with some cold water. Mix it up and then hop on the elliptical machine. I have this in sour apple and I also have <sighs> grape drink. Yeah, especially love the grape drink there, you know. But that's my Advocare Spark. Then I have, if some of you guys recognize it, this is Animal Cuts here. Uh, I always like taking these because it pretty much takes care of all of my immediate issues here. This is the first thing I'll usually take uh, diet-wise. Uh, later on, I'll switch to some other products here, usually stuff from ALR Industries. But, you know, a lot of things have changed. Whenever I was, uh, whenever I did my last show in 2009, you know, there was a lot of other products available, such as Jungle Warfare, which is no longer there. And... Uh, Venom Hyperdrive, but, you know, I still have to go and see what I can take because I have to stay away from all these stimulants and stuff like that. I can't get, you know, uh, I can't take all the stimulants that I used to, you know, because at the age of 40, high blood pressure and everything, you know, I have to be really careful. So, uh, in terms of vitamins, you know, I take one of these packs you know, you got your antioxidants, your circulation, prostate and sexual health, uh, overall health and wellness. You know, I love getting these. Uh, you get them at Sam's Club. You know, I'll get about two boxes at a time because I don't like really buying too much. But the Mega Man Performance, you know, it works for me just fine. Uh, and then you got to have your Omega 3s. And, you know, I still got plenty of bottles of uh, Omega uh, fatty acids from. Uh, Prime Nutrition, I have about eight or nine bottles of this left uh, whenever I was working with uh, Prime Nutrition, you know, and some people think that, you know, vitamins and supplements expire, and the truth is it really doesn't, so, you know, you always have to have your omega-3 fatty acids here, you know, that just helps the body regulate. Now, this one here, I actually have about 20 bottles of this here. Uh... You know, I have an agreement with Natural Partners, and I had a bunch of returns a while back, about a year ago. So it left me with about a $700 credit. So subsequently, I bought a bunch of these. Some of them I still sell on eBay, which sells pretty good. 
Now these uh, I will actually take after working out as well as before working out. And this is excellent, so that way I have time to get home and make my meals. Uh, but, you know, I always like taking amino acids after I work out. You know, whenever you, I'll take about six of these. Uh, whenever you take anything such as this, you have to drink a shitload of water with it there. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I love having these. This, I go through these bottles every 15 days because, like I said, you... You have to take six at a time, uh, and like I said, I use these after working out. I train five days a week, so, you know, you guys do the math, so uh, excellent for that. And that is pretty much it. You know, I don't go crazy with these supplements or anything like that. Uh, I just do what I got to do, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, the stuff that I have available. Some things I do buy in particular... You know, I'm an Advocare distributor, so I have my Spark. That's really the only thing I really get from Advocare at this point in time. I know there's a network marketing thing, and I still sell some of the products. But at the same time, you know, I don't really get get too much else with Advocare other than the Spark. I may get some of their little energy, little containers and stuff, uh, the Advocare Slam. Uh, but other than that, that's really it. I just stick with the two basic products. And, you know, I go with, you know, what I have. Why am I going to go out through Advocare and buy Omega-3 uh, products when I have a whole bunch of these from when I was working with Prime Nutrition? That just doesn't make any bit of sense here. So uh, that's all I got today. You guys wanted to know what I took in terms of supplements as well as my meals. And now you have the answer. You guys have a good night. Oh, I almost forgot one last thing. Uh... You know, almost forgot. I also take Tribulus. Uh, you know, this is an excellent product for, uh, you know, uh, making sure my testosterone levels stay normal. Also, I will take DHEA as well, uh, 100 uh, milligrams a day of that. You know, like I said, I don't do any steroids or anything like that. But, you know, at the same time, at my age, my testosterone levels uh, have dropped. So, you do have to take supplements in order to, uh, you know, in order to increase it. But, you know, the thing about it is you don't really need much in order to do so, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, testosterone management. Uh, but it is essential because without testosterone, you know, you get kind of uh, fuzzy and a little bit lumpy. Uh, you don't have as much energy. Uh, when you have very low testosterone levels. So uh, just wanted to bring this in as well. So, all right, now I'm done. Have a good night, people.